Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, September 4th, 2019 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Brussels, Belgium. We've got another guest diary today from Jan Kopriva who wrote about an interesting variant of TrickBot that he came across. The interesting part here is the link file that's used to spread this variant of TrickBot. Link files usually, well, a link to other files, but they also can contain content themselves. And in this case, in addition to the link file itself, there is data being appended to the link file at its end. Windows pretty much ignores data being appended to a link file that's otherwise properly formed. And in this case, the script within the link file will extract the next stage of the payload from this additional data appended to the link file. The code once extracted from the link file will then download additional stages, which uh, turns out, as I mentioned earlier, to be yet another variant of TrickBot. Security company Eclipsium released details regarding a vulnerability in some Supermicro motherboard BMC or baseboard management controllers. One of the features implemented by these controllers is virtual USB devices. These virtual USB devices are essentially USB drives that can be connected to the server across the internet. You can use that, for example, to remotely reboot a server to a different operating system, for example, to install a new operating system, apply patches, or repair an existing operating system install, a feature that is quite useful sometimes, in particular if you're trying to rescue boot a down server. But uh, apparently authentication to connect these USB devices isn't implemented correctly in some of Supermicro's BMCs and as a result an attacker can connect their own USB device without any authentication. The problem here is that if an administrator did connect a USB device and authenticated to do so and then disconnected the USB device the internal state about the connection is actually left intact and it's now possible for an attacker to connect a different device without having to authenticate first. This state is only cleared correctly after the BMC itself got rebooted. So rebooting the server may not necessarily clear this out and this may be possible for an extended time after the administrator had disconnected their device. Now, typically only storage devices are connected using this method, but the interface being implemented here is essentially a generic USB device. So an attacker could connect an USB device of their choosing and, for example, use that to then compromise the server. Supermicro came up with patches, so you should certainly apply these patches as quickly as possible. If you want a quick fix, maybe just sort of reboot a BMC, that should be possible without having to reboot the entire server. The service listens on port uh, 623, so on your firewall, definitely make sure that you don't allow remote access into your network using this port. In addition to the authentication bypass issue, Eclipsium also points out three other vulnerabilities. First of all, this entire system uses plain text for authentication. The network traffic is either not encrypted or it uses RC4 with a fixed key that's compiled into the BMC firmware and it's the same key across all Supermicro BMCs. 
And Facebook may have lost control over a software signing key used to sign its Free Basics application. Free Basics is sort of a lightweight version of the Facebook Android app for users in regions with limited internet access. And like all Android applications, it's signed. And of course, to create these signatures, one needs a specific secret key. But apparently, the same secret key has now been spotted signing various unrelated applications that are not part of Facebook, suggesting that the actual secret key that was used to sign the free basics application has been leaked. And whoever does now have control of this secret key would be able to release a malicious update for the free Facebook application. Now, Facebook has reacted and published published a new version of the free basics application that's signed with a different key. So you definitely should update if you are using this application. So you can no longer be fooled in downloading an application signed with the old key. And well, that's it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.